Sup kids, uh, this video we're going to show the how to use the pretty photo light box effect. Um, right now I have a standard gallery right here. Uh, some simple hover effects. So when you click on a picture, it goes directly to that picture. I just have some random pictures here. Um, in our code, we got this gallery UL. Uh, it looks really compact and hard to read, but I have this first li broken down for you. So, in our first li, we have an a. Inside that a, we have a picture. And this rel tag is important for the JavaScript that we're about to use. Uh, you need this for it to work. Alright, so let's check out what this pretty photo is all about. Just type pretty photo into Google and this is their page no margin for errors and you can see a demo here you click on this picture and you get a cool little light box effect. I like this one because it also shows YouTube videos. So there's a YouTube video it also shows how to do flash Gives a cool little effect and lots of other stuff. So let's download it to our desktop. And while we're doing that, we're going to click on the document documentation of that page and we're going to get this ready. It tells you how to use it and everything. So let's open our pretty photo. And open our site folder. This is our website right here. Okay. So here's the folder we just downloaded, and then here's our folder. We need to transfer some stuff here. First, we're going to grab the JavaScript file, the only file we're going to make. Well, so you don't have a JavaScript file, let's make a new folder called JS in our folder. And we're going to copy that over. Done. CSS folder. We're going to copy that. Drag that to our CSS folder. Done. Grab the images. And we want the pretty photo images. So let's drag that to our images folder. Done. Now, inside this pretty photo, there's lots of there's lots of different themes you can use, but the default theme is Facebook. So we're just going to delete all the other one because that's just extra room that we don't need. So we're just going to keep the Facebook one. Now that we got that. Um, all right. Now let's link everything that we just got. Let's link. I'm going to copy and paste this CSS line from our basic template that I made in previous videos. Okay, um, we'll give this, I think it was called Pretty Photo CSS. I'm just going to copy and paste that same name. And at the end here, we're going to be using jQuery. So type in jQuery Google. Uh, and it should give you Google Libraries first hit. And we're going to click on this available libraries here. We're going to click on jQuery and we're going to copy and paste this jQuery line. So we're going to script type text JavaScript and a source and we're going to paste that in there and then close our script. Right below that, we're going to do another script, a type of text and JavaScript, and a source of the JavaScript that we copied from their folder. We don't need this folder anymore, I'm just going to X out of it. We're going to go into our JavaScript folder and get this name, which is inner JS folder. So we're going to go inside of JS. 
and get pretty photo dot js. Then we're gonna close that script tag. Copy that script tag again. Well, no, I'm not, not yet. And then in our documentation page on the pretty photo, um, we're gonna grab this script tag here. We're gonna put it right after. It's important to put this right after this. So first, you need your jQuery. Two, you need their pretty photo JS. And then last, this is what makes it run. It's going to target all of the anchors. This is the anchor that have a rel attribute of pretty photo. This has a rel attribute of pretty photo. And then it's going to run their JavaScript code. So let's test that out. So when I click on this, it loads. And that's how easy it is to use pretty photo. And you can make your own gatherers in here. So my first three, these three LS, I have a gallery one, gallery one, gallery one, and in here I have gallery two, gallery two, and a gallery two. So you can make your own galleries. So my gallery one is only made up of three images, and it cycles through those three images, which are these three. And then these three are in gallery two, so you only see these. So I can click next. There's only three images in here in my gallery, and my last one is actually a picture. It's a YouTube video, which is pretty neat. So yeah. that's how you use pretty photo it's that simple um, one thing I didn't show you was the CSS I guess so the CSS that I have for this gallery uh, you can make your own CSS I mean it's totally optional but this is how I made mine I just have a class gallery the background color of this dark gray which is this dark gray in the back and I'm floating all the LA's left I'm just giving a solid border color, displaying my anchors display block, and a height and a width, which is the same height and width that I have in here. And I have a hover effect, which is that white border, FFF. Awesome.